Hey everybody. Hey, this is a kind of a part two to removing a leaky old steering rack from an Acura TL, a 2004 Acura TL. I thought I might shed a little bit more light from my first video. So I'm in the process of tightening up the new steering rack. As you recall, here is the old one, the old leaky one. And as I recall, or as I uh, said from the earlier video, it was easy to take out once that I had taken the bushing out from the rear subframe mount right there. I just took it out. Here it is in my oil pan. I took a crow's foot, which is on the other side of the car right now, and pried it up in between the bottom of the car and the subframe and then put the the tip of it or the bottom part of the crow's foot in my hydraulic jack and started pumping it up. That caused the subframe to drop down just enough for me to pull out the old rack without a problem. So I'm doing this, I have been doing this laying on my back and on with the car on jack stands here in my garage. But I've loosened up everything from the top side, the top side of the engine, with the cover removed from here where the bracing is for the these two struts, the strut on this side and the strut on that side, so I could see down inside of the back of the engine. So what I'm doing now is tightening up the bolts, there's really only four of them, actually two main bolts that hold the steering rack in, which is one right there and one would go right there. On the back side or on the passenger side, there is a rubber grommet with a clamp with two bolts on it. And again, I'm tightening those from the top side. In fact, I've got my long extension down in there right now, as a matter of fact. And you really can't see the bolts from here. But let me go from the other side of the car on the passenger side. And there you can get to see them. So there's one right there. And it's covered by a heat shield. But what Acura did, probably Honda as well, is made a hole up on top of it so that if you have a long extension for your socket wrench, it will you can accomplish that from the top side by going down, finding the... Uh, the hole, which is again kind of hard to see here, and then going through that hole to get to that one bolt. Now, my extension is on the second one in the back. That clamp is actually attached to a heat shield, but it is flexible enough for you to move it out of the way. And the other bolt is back there, and my socket is on it right now, and I'm tightening it from the top side. So long story short, you can accomplish taking the steering rack out of your Acura TL from the top. I've loosened everything from the top, even the uh, fluid lines. I even loosened them from the top as well. They're down there. You can see them. Now there was a little bit tougher because you don't have a lot of room to, uh, to break the, uh, the nut loose. What I did, since I couldn't get underneath it because the car is not up off of the ground far enough, I put my, where's my wrench? It was probably on the floor, but I put the appropriate size wrench, I think it's like a 22 or 24 millimeter, on the socket, and I got this string, wrapped it around the brace for the, for the strut bar up here, the top of the strut, and I use that as my leverage. I've got the wrench on the uh, fluid lines down there, and you know you really don't have a lot of room. And I was, I can get my hand down in there, as you can see, but you don't really have a lot of room to get some good 
uh, leverage on it to break the seal off, uh, to break, you know, to break the nut loose. So that's where I use this string to put it around the wrench and uh, just enough for me to pull it this way. And that which, that's what broke it. And if you do have a short wrench, that will help you get the, those two lines out the rest of the way. So I've been working on this car for the past couple of days, but I can tell you, now that I know what to do and how to get it out, hopefully I never will have to do again, but you know, as you recall from my last video, I loosened up these two mounting bolts. Did not take them out, but I just loosened them. That caused the trans or the, the bottom of the subframe to drop down, which I have a block of wood under it to support it as well. Now, when I'm ready to tighten everything back up, which should hopefully be in the next 15 minutes, I'll use my hydraulic jack to push the bottom of the, or the back of the subframe back up flush with the bottom of the car and then put the mounting bolts back in and these will slide up as well and I'll tighten those up again and then I'll just finish up you know um, reattaching the uh, outer outer tie rod ends here and back here and you know I didn't really measure them but what I'm going to do is make sure that my wheels are as straight as possible and then put the tie rod end on, tighten it up. It's still going to be out of alignment. I'll make sure that the steering wheel is straight and then I'll take it to the shop to have it properly aligned. And so that's it. Uh, again, if I, if I had to do it again, it would not take me that long. It'd probably take me two, three hours tops to get the, to get the old one out and to put the new one in. So there you have it. I hope this helps you. If you're working on your leaky uh, power steering rack for your Acura TL, um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll be sure to try to answer them for you, best of my knowledge. Good day to you all.